Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rofia Sin and you guys are learning .NET Core MVC. So in the previous video, we have set up our development environment. We, we have discussed everything we need to know uh, and we, we need to work through this course tools and things. So I'm sure you have watched that, that video. So in this video, we are going to basically create our project. So open Visual Studio. And I'm using Visual Studio 2019. You can use obviously Visual Studio uh, and you can use anything because I have already explained all the tools that are required to set up uh, to work along with this course. So this is basically a startup page of Visual Studio 2019. Over here it is displaying your recent projects and over here it is telling us get started so from here you can clone our complete repository from github or azure devops uh, from here you can open your existing solution you can nav navigate uh, within your folders using visual studio and from here you basically you can create a new project so we can click here to create new project and over here uh, it is it is displaying the project we have uh, created previously it is telling recent project templates and we have created asp.net core web app model views controller asp.net core with angular class library and windows forms app so from here basically you need to select c sharp then you need to select all platform is okay and from here you need to select web and over here you can see asp.net core web app uh, and we can right here asp.net core web app and then you can see specifically all the applications uh, that uh, that you can create with the asp.net core web application so basically you, you can see asp.net core web app asp.net core web app model view controller and asp.net core web app so basically what is the difference between these three variants so this is the ASP.NET Core web app, a project template for creating core applications with example ASP.NET Razor Pages content. So this project contains basically some Razor Pages by default. Okay. And this is the template ASP.NET Core web app model views controller. Obviously, we are working with the model and uh, we are interested in this because this project uh, is basically contains models, views and controllers. Uh, and uh, uh, we can use this project for the restful services web apis we'll discuss restful services later in this course so basically this is uh, the project uh, which we are going to use because it has already set up all the things uh, that are required for uh, mvc to start mvc project and over here we have asp.net core web api which is api kind of project for creating restful services so you can obviously you can create restful services you can set up this uh, mvc from this project you can uh, use services within this project uh, but we don't need, need to waste our time because microsoft uh, this visual studio wizard will automatically set up our project uh, according to the uh, mvc and we we've been uh, uh, understanding the word files are given and what the things are given so so that we don't need to waste our time if you still want to in, uh, create an empty template and set up your own things you can create uh, this is the empty template asp.net core empty you can create an empty dotnet core project and you can uh, set up everything from uh, uh, scratch if you want to do so but this is not required okay so basically we are going to use asp.net core model views controller app click next and over here we will give the name of uh, our project and this is the name of our solution so I, I can click here first of all I will select my location so gallery for solution dot net 5 and project this is my folder click here project select folder so this is our location where we want to save uh, our project and this is the name of our project so basically i was searching to get an idea uh, to give the 
a useful name for a, a, our application but uh, i'm uh, i was like i was thinking different names and there's nothing i found a better name for my application but you can obviously you can write uh, whatever uh, name for you for your application so let's say i want to name the project pound saving store okay this would be the name of our project pound saving store and this would be the name of our solution because we we are going to use a, a repository pattern so this would be better if we rename this project this is our project name pound saving store pounds saving store dot web and we can remove uh, dot web from this uh, solution name because this would be solution and we will be creating our uh, core project or business project for implementation of repository pattern so th this is better uh, this is, will be the name of our project pound saving store and this indicates that pound storing pound saving store dot web is the uh, web project and dot business will be the business project and dot core would be the models project okay so this would be the name of our store so we can click next from here you can see uh, target framework is dotnet 5 which is uh, the latest framework at the time of recording which is uh, 16th of july 21st so i'm using this one make sure to you whatever is the latest version use this one if you want to exactly copy uh, my code and exactly copy me and follow me uh, and you you want to avoid any troubles then you can use this version okay so there will be no breaking changes but sometimes you will have to figure it out some issues later on obviously there are some issues in the previous variants and if we are working in the dotnet 5 we need to think a little bit uh, will be different and because we are going to create an e-commerce application there will be payment methods and things so it would be better if we use uh, if, you, if we configure our application for https and this is the authentication type which is most of the time user select individual account which will automatically set up identity and all the things like login logout basically complete microsoft identity framework but we are not interested in this because because we will be using identity but we will create our uh, everything from scratch related to identity to configure to understand uh, how to create your custom user class with additional properties uh, how to create user roles claims role based authorization claim based authorization authentication sign sign in sign out uh, password reset how to send confirmation emails html templated emails and the things so basically we'll set up everything uh, regarding this uh, microsoft identity framework uh, so we we are not using the built-in things. We will uh, use we will create our uh, we will set up everything from scratch for uh, authentication and authorization. And the most important thing is to enable Razor runtime compilation if you want to change something in your Razor view. And uh, you can save in the Visual Studio and refresh your browser. You will see that change reflecting in your uh, uh, web browser so this runtime is required for uh, in order to affect uh, the razor change in your web browser so uh, i would recommend by click uh, check this checkbox and click on create perfect so visual studio has successfully created our project and you can minimize this and you can see this is the name of our solution pound saving store and this is the name of our project pound saving store dot web we will create in, in our upcoming videos we will create two or three more projects initially we will create two projects for core and for business and the later on in this course we will create fourth project which will be dot api and we can even create another project uh, if 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 we have uh, if we'll have enough time and we we still want to learn uh, the angular things then we can create client project within the same project but we are not interested uh, at this moment 
we can discuss and we can decide according to your reviews and your comments i'll decide what we have to do but initially we basically we have this web project and we'll create two more project so before doing anything here I just want to start this project before explaining anything because uh, we have already uh, video duration is already 10 plus minutes so we'll understand everything uh, in the next video so just start the application and see if it's uh, this application is running and that's it perfect so you can see this is our .NET 5 MVC application which have this beautiful navigation and this welcome text and this is footer so if you click here this is home if you click here in the privacy this is privacy page and this is the basically initial setup which microsoft uh, visual studio has done because we have selected mvc template and this is the great thing because you don't need to set up everything when you when you have everything with you we can understand by uh, i will explain you uh, how these things are happening how this view is rendered and what are these files in the next video so you don't need to waste writing ag again and again the same code which visual studio is already providing us so that's it for this video this is basically to set up uh, your uh, mvc core project in your visual studio 2019 and from in the next video we'll understand uh, this folder structure and how this project is rendered uh, and that's it uh, I think yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video where we will understand this folder project uh, structure and everything. Okay, so thanks for watching Take care. Bye